Welcome to Bleak Dystopian Future. I am Gaming J. Today we play Papers, Please. We work for the state. If you enjoy this terrible European accent, hit the like button, subscribe for more stories. It is becoming that of a vampire, as, even as I talk. I cannot keep an accent straight. It is one of the things about me. If I talk long enough, it become pirate. Anyway, welcome to uh, another episode of whatever, Saturday Afternoon Gaming, I guess. Um, we're playing, playing Papers, Please, the indie darling hit, which I think, was it made by one of the guys who did Uncharted? Like, Uncharted is like a big franchise game, but I think one of the developers spun off and maybe made this Lucas Pope. I don't know, somebody can look him up. Oh, you can, it actually links to him. Well, we'll leave it a bit as a mystery. Anyway, if you haven't played Papers, Please before, you, you work as a customs agent and you have to check passports. And that's it. That's the game. But it's, like, oddly interesting. It's very... It kind of reminds me of, like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? almost? Like, it's an administrative game, if you will, and there's not too many out there like it. Um, it's yet another example of... Uh, we've seen this over and over again with uh, indie games, but a game that could have existed in like 1984. You know, like the game is so simple. There's actually nothing in it graphics wise or anything like that that couldn't have existed back in the 90s, but it just didn't exist. And this is, I said this over and over, this is the thing I kind of love about indie games is even though they often have better graphics than they would have had if they came out in the 90s, they are simple game concepts in the style of the games that I loved as a kid, so. Bear with me as we dive into the work of administrative hell in uh, some former Eastern uh, European uh, Republic here. But uh, anyway, congratulations. Uh, the labor lottery. The October labor lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. I should be reading this in an accent. For immediate placement, report to Ministry of Administration at Greston Border Checkpoint. I think I became British briefly. An apartment will be w provided for you and your family in the East Greston. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Arstotoxka. Arst Glory to Arstotoxka. Arst 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 yeah, that's I actually read it. <laughs> it is possible to read. Greston border checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Administration keep us safe? I should really probably just stop the accent. Not only am I terrible at it, it's possibly offensive. Um, fun fact, uh, this is the year I was born, so there you go. The truth of Astor Tuska. I can't, even, I can't even remember the name, let alone get it. So here's the only graphics you get. Look at that border checkpoint. That is like security at the airport. All right. Uh, Ministry of Administration, welcome to your new position at the Greskin border. Stamp passport, entry visa, return documents to entrant. Entry is restricted to our Stotskin citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to our Stotskin. Pay attention to passport nationality. Uh, okay, shutter, counter. I do kind of remember this. I did play this at one point, uh, so everything's kind of over here. Um, and Greston border checkpoint opens at last. What does this do again? Oh, this is our stamps. Okay, open for business. Next in line. Please come. Please come to be serviced. Papers, please. Okay, that generally looks like her as well. You also have to check because sometimes people will, um, oops. Sometimes people will uh, try to like sneak through with somebody else's identification. Um, and you get paid for the number of people that you let through. So that's something. Uh, all right. This is not a citizen. Therefore, denied. Get out of here. Who's next? Like how there's like literally an armed guard right there and like one person coming through an hour. <laughs> they should really hire more border agents, just saying. 
Uh, this person is also denied. Get out of here. This is unbelievable. Go to hell. I wonder why he wants to come into the country. I said next. Get over here. This reminds me of like going on a flight. Like, uh, with uh, airlines and stuff. Like having to wait in like long lines. Oh god. Air travel is truly the worst. I won't miss it when it's gone. Um, as soon as self-driving cars are a thing... Uh... Oh, he just literally walked away. As soon as self-driving cars are a thing, like, literally if I have to go to California, I'll just hop in my car, and I'd rather just hang out in my car on my laptop and, like, sleep for a day, you know, like... Rather than go through the rigmarole of an airport. Um, uh, probably be cheaper to do that too, actually, to just do a self-driving car. If you if you drove 24-7, it would only be a day and a half to get to California, I think. I think it's only like 36 hours away. That's just difficult to do, um... Uh, it's difficult to do if, uh... You're driving yourself, right? Like, you can only drive for like... I, I've done it. Uh, there was a time when I lived in California briefly. I only lived for about six months. And then when I had to come home, I drove by myself. So I did like, uh, 10-hour days... And it took like three or four to get home. And uh, it was brutal. It was very brutal. Uh, but that that's like maxing it out, you know? Like you can't really, uh, can't really go much faster than that. Come on. Next. Hurry. My day is running out. <laughs> Look at this lineup. These people are going to be here for a month. My God. Oops, I uh, clicked off the screen there for a second. Get out of here. Next. Hurry! I must meet Yakov. Oh, time's up. Alright, manage your expenses using the checkboxes below. So, savings, 30. Salary, 50. So I got 10 bonus. Rent was minus 10. Heat was 10. Food was 20. So I came at a net of zero. I have a wife, a son, a mother-in-law, and an uncle. Alright. And the class eight housing. Analysis upbeat. Increased trade and cooperation predicted. Greston checkpoint a success. All right. Well, that's that's entirely due to me. I bet. This game apparently has a story, which is kind of interesting. Uh, from today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your booth inspection hardware is now installed. Check all passports for information carefully for discrepancies. Deny an, ent an entrant with inconsistent information. To enter inspect mode, press the red <laughs> button on your, your desk. I see. Okay. Uh, while using the red button on your desk, highlight two pieces of discrepant information for further options. Uh, this, okay. Glory to Esdraska. Highlight two pieces of information in the inspect mode. To initiate interrogation. Okay, again, I think I remember this. Um, I would, you know what, I'd be interested to see somebody remake this in DOS, like remake it as if it was based on '90s technology. Use like a DOS compiler or whatever and make it. Um, okay, expiry, 1984. I mean, this all looks pretty legit. So get out of here. Cause no trouble. Next. Get over here. Oh, I can move this out of the way if you want. Um, okay. Connor North. Da, 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 da. Wait, 1982. Hey. By the way, this is expired. The document has expired. He says, well, that's just a mistake. Denied. There are no mistakes when it comes to expiry dates. There are only scumbags like you trying to enter my beautiful country. Okay, that clearly does not look like the dude. Your picture, it is different. Years have been cruel. Um... I just feel like... He ain't coming into my country. Next. If you let in, like, a terrorist, I think it ends the day. Okay, I'm just gonna... 
Probably trying to prove that one. Get her moving. Look at this guy. This guy's trouble. Don't trust him one bit. But I will approve him. I guess we're looking for expiry dates and pictures that don't match right now. Parole violated. Protocol. Uh, oh, invalid issuing city. I didn't know that. The pink vice for all your fantasies. Hello. Well, you're approved, lady. Come on in. Don't forget to visit. Interesting. <clears throat> the pink vice. How about, uh, approved, baby. Oh, you can't stamp that. All right, we'll just put it down here for now. Save that for after work. Hey, what the heck? Somebody just climbed the wall. You know what? I don't think that person was trying to sneak into the country. I think they were just totally dismayed. Oh, no, wait. They're throwing a bomb. I was going to say, I think they're totally dismayed by the length of that line. All right, should we go to the pink hustle or whatever it was called? They was cut short by a terrorist attack. Um, so we got 25. Oh, God. How are you supposed to win this game? <laughs> We're gonna lose on, like, level 3. More guard scrutiny. You know what helps make borders move faster is when they add increased security to all the checks. Ah, will certainly help things. Entry for non-citizens is now regulated. All foreigners re require an entry ticket. Verify information before stamping the passport. Missing documents can be correlated by highlighting the counter and the pertinent entry in the rule book. We probably should look at this. They have to have a passport, current passports. Foreigners require a ticket. Oh, these are the, the cities that actually... Um, give out things. Or are they? Wait. Antonegra. Oh my god, there's so much to memorize. I already feel like a, like a disillusioned bureaucrat. Um, okay, so we don't need this anymore. It's sort of, it's as far off the screen as we can get it. Um, okay, I guess I should keep this open. There's so many different discrepancies you could have. Oh, God. How do actual border guards do this? Must be such a, like, mind-numbing and difficult uh, job. Do not distribute under severe penalty. Okay. Well. Next. I guess eventually if you played this, you would just memorize everything. Papers, please. Um... We have a discrepancy here. Oh, wait. Her ticket was here. Entry ticket, valid until uh, valid on day. And Republia. Where are you? Republia. Bostran. All right. You're in. And it looks like you. Okay. Oh, you want your ticket back? Has no trouble. All right, next. Let's speed this up, folks. Papers, please. Okay. I have to ask for this ticket. No correlation. Warners require an entry ticket. That and that. Wait. No. I want that. What? Um, okay, well, I mean, he doesn't have a ticket. So get out of here. Entry is not guaranteed. Oh, look at all the guards now. Um, all right, import. Uh, import. This is in Yiko. Valid ticket. Get out of here. The pink vice for all your fantasies. Hmm. I do have a wife and a sick mother-in-law and the son and stuff, but... Yeah, 
go into the pink vice. You know, daddy's got to take a bit of time off sometimes. Yurko City. Let's check this. Coletia, Yurko City. That looks right. Oh, hello, though. This is expired, sir. You cannot enter. Get out of here. Next. Too bad they don't pay you when you deny someone, because I feel like they just waste your time then. Papers, please. Okay, valid. The date is good. The United Federation. The United Federation of Planets? Uh, Shingleton. All right. Here's your beautiful stamp. Get the hell out of here. If you mess up, you'll get like a, a punishment right away. So that's how you know you've messed up. Oh, I did never noticed it shows their uh, their weight when they stand on the thing. Um, okay, Republia. See, if you just knew the cities, if you'd memorize that, then uh, uh, valid on hey. This is not valid yet. Uh, hold on. Dude, oh wait, I can just highlight the date and the date. The date, date on the ticket is wrong. Denied. I wish you could just like hand them the passport back without actually stamping it uh, approved or denied if you were going to deny them. Um, all right, that's fine. And this, Kolechkia, H-I, Kolechkia, Diplomatic Seals, uh, Vidor, looks good. Cause no trouble. We got three guards ready to gun you down as you walk through. It's, uh... Glory to Estroka, the greatest country. Um, hello? Okay. He didn't, he didn't give me anything. Um, alright. Entrant must have a passport. Proceed, use the inspect mode to interrogate. Uh... Oh god, you review page two. Uh so click Intrant must have a passport. And then where am I supposed to click? Oh there we go. So no entrant no no <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, that that took a little while. Um, okay, get out of here. I feel like this guy comes back several times and he wastes your time every time he comes back. I vaguely remember that from playing this once before. Um, this is an interesting game, but I'll be honest, eventually it gets too complicated for me and you have like a thousand rules and it's just way too much. So, uh... Oh, God. Get out of here. I'm always paranoid I'm going to get punished as soon as uh, somebody walks away. All right, we're down at a lean zero. <laughs> Jeez. Can I go to this uh, nightclub? How do I do it? Would love to. Oh, you can choose not to eat, by the way. How about we just choose no heat? Alright, no heat this month. Daddy didn't work hard enough. Government Bleans lacks immigration. Oh, you know what's gonna happen. More border security. Just blame immigrants on everything. Or blame everything on immigrants, I should say. Stricter credential requirements <coughs> are stats can citizens. Must show their ID cards. Foreigners must secure 
and present a valid entry permit. Entry tickets are no longer allowed. New chapter, detailing document features have been added. Check all information thoroughly. Deny any applicant with discrepancies. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Oh, I can just put this over there. Oh, that's good. Um, all right. Foreigners, citizens must have ID cards. Okay, so there's a new chapter. Oh, look at this. ID cards. Oh, God. And there's only certain dis districts. And then there's an entry permit. It's only a couple seals are valid. Man, this is how people, like, sneak past through borders and stuff, right? Like, it's just, it's so complicated. There's so much crap. I would hate to be an actual border security guard. Um, okay, seal looks good. We have to look at Alilu. Oh, wait. Okay, well, I have no idea. Oh, Halilu is the name of the girl. Um, okay. And everything looks good. I'm just going to take a chance and approve this first one. I get fined for that. Okay, no fine. That's good. Well, that one was a chance. I didn't really look super closely at those documents. You know, I'm not a details-oriented dude. I will say that much. Um, so enter by 1220. Expiry. That? No, I guess that is correct. All right. Prove. God, I just let somebody else through who's not supposed to. Every single person who I let through. Yep, there it is. Issuing city was incorrect. Can I just throw this penalty away? Yeah, just put it here. You know what? Here you go. <laughs> oh, I wanted to give it to the dude. <laughs> um, oh, the entry. I know this one. The entry ticket isn't valid anymore. Um, so this is boop. And... Uh, discrepancy detected. You have no entry permits. It's out of here. Denied. Get a permit. This is bullshit. I paid good money for tickets. We'll take it up with the ticket man. I don't know. Where'd you get a ticket? Where do you buy a ticket from? Here's one speedrunning tactic I've seen. You kind of place the passport between the two so you don't have to move it. I have watched somebody speedrun part of this game, believe it or not. Rachel... Uh... Senin. Hey, the name's different. Discrepancy detected. The names do not match. My name was changed recently. Oh, wait. It's kind of too late. What happens if I fingerprint her? Applicant, fingerprints, and claim the alias must match this record. Wait, did I just get, uh... Okay, so I guess it is her. Rachel Stortzka. All right. Well, she's got two stamps. I don't know if she can enter or not. No, I think I denied her. I should let her in, though, actually. I didn't realize there was a fingerprint thing. We're about to fail this game, guys. It's on level four. Uh, duration of stay, six months. Okay. Uh, we got to check the issuing city. This is Impor. Which I have not seen before. Issuing cities. Tinksida. Whatever. 50-50 that she's okay, right? Next. Oh, we got a freaking another citation. Invalid expiration date. I'll just put it on the pile there of all my, uh, my, my screw-ups. It's added to the pile, baby. You gotta check, like, the logo, the names, uh, the city, the expiration, whatever. Can you go in, please? 
Okay, here, here, uh, of all the criminals. Oh my god! <laughs> Incorrect purpose. Uh huh. Here, add it to the pile, baby. Is no, and nobody, it's like nobody who's coming up to the border is legit. Um, they're all incorrect. Okay, he said 60 days. I should actually, I didn't even notice they were talking, frankly. This name is totally wrong. What the heck? Where's my discrepancy? This is just incorrect. I have multiple names. All right. Show me them names, baby. No known aliases. Well, I'll tell you this much. You're a liar. You are a liar. Get out. You don't even get a full denied stamp. I just do the so I just do a little edge on your passport there to punish you. Not even worth my time. This is uh clearly incorrect. I don't even have to look at it. <laughs> Cobrastan is not a real country. Uh, I come back with a better one. Imagine I got like a penalty for that. Like, Cobrastan is actually a country in the South Pacific. Alright. Finally, a citizen. Chances are this guy's making it up. They're all making it up. This game teaches you to be paranoid. Uh, the Burnan, Burnton District. All right, that whatever it all seems fine. Welcome home, buddy. Give me another penalty. I'm just racking up the tickets, government. Come on, somebody else get in here quick before we have to shut up shop. Get in here, man, so I can reject you. Oh, this is another citizen. Uh, all right, looks good. Wait, I should check uh, the issuing cities. Um, the Octavalis district. Yeah, that's correct. And districts. Um, o Orvec Vonar is actually a thing. All right, come on, somebody else, quick! Hurry up! I need to like literally feed my family this month. I'm only getting five bucks for each of you guys. This job is the worst. Immigrating. Um, okay, so this is like the last person. Enter by this date's works. Expiry. Um, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna roll the dice, buddy. You know what? You want to start a new life? Maybe I'll get a penalty for it. Come back at 6 a.m. Yep, here's a penalty. Invalid ID number. Added to the stack. See, this is why I'm no good at the game. It's really hard to be good at this game. Oh my god. We can't even afford food this month. You know what? No heat either. We might as well save some money. We're just starving the cold. Repu Republican track star wanted for murder. Well, that guy. Interesting. Girlfriend killed in a jealous rage. November 27th, 1982. Alright. You're now authorized to detain suspicious individuals, interrogate discrepancies. Alright. Toss that in there. Get my rule book out. Alright, next. We're open for business. Alright. This... Is she's visiting relatives for a few months? Uh, passport numbers do not match. Discrepancy here. Do not arrest me, please. Just deny my passport. I will go away. Detain. What is this? Out. Take her away, boys. <laughs> Anyone with a discrepancy now gets arrested. <laughs> Welcome to Jay's glorious utopia. <laughs> uh, just visiting. Couple of days. Your ID matches. I hope they hauled her worthless ass to prison. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, this guy is an Antigran. The Antigria. Glorian. The dates. All right. Let's see what kind of penalty I get for letting this guy in. I, you know, I, I actually didn't pay attention if his name matched. Yeah, there we go. Incorrect visit duration response. What? He said a couple of days and it said 14 days. That's correct in my book. Vincent Lestrade. Hey, wait. Wait a second. Vincent Lestrade, eh? Are you Vincent Lestrade? Damn. Look, I did not kill her. I was set up. Do not believe the Republican lies. Let me through. Ah, uh, man, that's interesting. You could let him through if you wanted. Detain! Lock him up! What is this? Shit! I like how his, his uh, ID said Vincent Lestrain, or whatever. And it's like he just walked right- he didn't even bother getting a fake ID. Like, that's some balls, man. That's so ballsy. I like his balls. But, uh, unfortunately, if you break the law... In my country, we get you. We get you good. Um, all right, everything seems to match. What penalty? What sweet penalty am I going to suffer for that one? What did I miss? Ah, there we go. Correct response. Purpose of your trip. It is not my choice. I hate this damn country. I'm just passing through. As little as possible. Two days. Alright, that sounds legitimate. Um, the United Federation. Let's see. Uh, Corster City. Sure. Um, Alright. Get out of here. Penalty? None! Alright, well that's good. Um... Okay, you need... Foreigners require an entry permit. He's a foreigner, right? Oh, citizens must have ID card. Didn't realize he was a citizen. Yeah, thanks a lot. Jerk. Um, well, I mean, that's clearly not you. This does not look like you. It is an old picture. Alright, buddy. Prove it. Vladimir... Kestrov. Alright. I guess I'm convinced. Alright, go on. Get out of here. I'm sure he pulled one over on me. Punishment? None. Okay, we're doing good. Might be able to feed our family this month. Samuel Hopper. He's staying for 14 days. Um, the dates. Oh. Oh. This is expired. Discrepancy detected. I don't think so. We don't make topographical ty typos in my country. Next. Move along. Get out of here. Uh, we finally become free of the Antigran tyranny. Um, he says he's immigrating forever. That's his name. Expiration. Enter by is good. The passport number is good. All right, buddy. Welcome home. Please be kind to my wife. She's just after me. Oh, interesting. All right, what's going to happen with the wife? I feel like she's going to have fake documents or something. Um, so let's see. Foreigners must have an entry permit. Where's your entry permit? Please, I beg you. They would not give me a permit. I have no choice. I will be killed if I return to Antigria. Interesting. So you can listen to her sob story. Or... 
Deny. Sorry. <laughs> you have doomed me. Well, that's very depressing. <laughs> Who knew a game about bureaucracy would give you, like, uh, you know, moral choices to make? Transit to Arstakria, just a couple of weeks. 12 12. Okay. Stephanie Wagner. Okay, to the issuing cities match. Impor. Uh, Impor. Issued from Orch Van. Hey, that's not correct. Discrepancy detected. Detain. <laughs> what is happening? No, please. No. Throw her worthless ass in the slammer, boys. Next. Next. Okay. We've got the Orch Vonar. Okay, we can take our time with this last dude because the day's already ended. Let's not make any more mistakes. Uh, 85 kilograms is correct. I guess the height information too is kind of interesting because you see their height. Um, Date of birth. Hey! I got one more for you guys to detain. Because these date of birth do not match. Detain! <laughs> what is this? No, please! I have children! Throw him away. Alright, we did it. Your son is sick and needs medicine. Booth upgrade available. Space key to toggle inspect mode. Oh, we're definitely gonna upgrade our booth. Rent, heat. Cold, 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 sick. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Well... We'll do the heat this month, but we really can't afford food. Maybe we'll just stay cold, but we'll actually eat. How about that? Blankets! Blankets for everybody! Jobs becoming fewer. Immigrants taking jobs from locals. Vincent Lestad apprehended in Greston. Track champs look quite guilty now. I'm sure he does. They always look guilty. It would be a crime to punish an innocent citizen, or to uh, arrest an innocent citizen. Therefore, if you are arrested, you are guilty. Um, jobs are coming fewer. All right. Next! Entry is not guaranteed. Next! Next! Of becoming evil. A work passport. Duration of stay. It will be six months. I didn't realize passports were a thing now. Uh, Costanzo, Costanzo. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Approved. I hope that was correct. Where's my punishment? Slap me on the wrist, boys. You do it. That wasn't was okay. All right. More immigrants coming to steal our jobs. Isn't it my patriotic duty to just arrest them all? Hello, sex coupon. I don't know what to do with these. I would love to use them for something. I don't understand. Anastasia, like, what is the? Why do they keep giving me sex coupons? I don't understand. Um, I'm not upset about it. I'm just more confused than anything. Uh, okay, Orbistan. Uh, all right, that looks legit. Too legit to quit. Please help me. Wait, what did you say? A man named Davi Lum promised me uh, my sister's good work in Astroka. Do I do not trust him. I'm afraid he will take my passport and force me to work in a brothel. He's in line today. Please do something. Davi Lund, eh? All right. Dari Lun. Let's keep an eye. Rem Let's just try and remember that name. I didn't actually see what he said. He'll just be in town for 14 days. All right. Approved. Next. Did I get punished for that one? Next. 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 Come on. 
Move the line! Um, that picture does definitely... These pictures do not match. Your appearance has changed. I had surgery on my face. And I have a different haircut. And I have a beard. Laura Anderson. Alright, fine. The old bag. Uh, the Vestrillo District. Is that a thing? Does that really exist? Issuing cities. The Vestrillo. Yeah, alright. And, uh, alright. Get in here, you old bag. <laughs> Punishment? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, non-matching photo ID, fingerprints. What? I thought they did match. Oh, this joker again. Oh, he actually... This is this guy is sort of like your test case. He just comes to, like, uh... You know, test your, uh... Your patience. You're missing an entry permit. Alright, well, he just has none, so get out of here. You're in a very strict border here. That is good. Do the right job. I look for entry thing and come back. You also need a work permit, buddy, but whatever. Uh, Dari Lund, we're still keeping an eye out for. Sophil Strovska. Transit. Two, two, two. Wait, that's expired, man. I don't even have to check the issuing city. Expired. Denied. Bye bye. Also, she didn't have a work permit. Many things I could have used to throw her away. Um, alright. Man, more sex coupons. Just keep them coming, boys. Hey, this is, uh... Lumd Dari. A... This and this. Let's interrogate him. Are you Dari Lund? Of course, it says on my passport. Jane! <laughs> what is this shit? Give my papers back. You won't need papers where you're going, Mr. Lund. Alright, that's nice. We did, a, we, fought, we did a good deed. We sent a man's wife to her death. And, uh... A couple of days. Sent a man's wife to her death, and we also caught a sex trafficker, so... Uh, they took away my passports. For denials only. Interesting. I didn't know they would give you that. You know, when I was younger, I went to, uh, Cuba. I'm Canadian, so it's allowed. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, they, we went to an all-inclusive resort when I was younger. Uh, like when I, not when I was like a kid, but when I was like in my twenties, like a bunch of friends, we got drunk and went to clubs and stuff, hung out on the beach. It was great. But, uh, one thing that's interesting about Cuba, so I'm having to like think and do this at the same time. What did she say? She's staying for one month. Everything else looks good. I'm just going to admit her because I'm in the middle of storytelling mode. Um, but when you go to Cuba and they pa they stamp your passports, they actually slide an extra piece of paper in your passport and stamp it. So that's like your entry visa. And then when you leave, they actually take that paper back. And it's because Americans do go to Cuba. Um, and when we were actually uh, a bunch of... Because I went with a bunch of friends and we were... When, oh, God. What just happened? Okay, so that guy, I shouldn't have let that guy through. I missed something on that one, I think. Um, when we were f getting ready to fly down to Cuba, uh, there was like an American uh, lady on our flight, like a young girl like us. We were in our 20s. And um, she was going down to meet her husband. They, she actually gone down there for school somehow, uh, met him. But she was flying out of Toronto. 
and she was from like Florida. So in order to go to Cuba, she had to fly to Toronto and then get a Canadian flight into Cuba because American planes don't fly to Cuba because of the you know embargo and stuff. And then when she goes into Cuba, they slide a piece of paper in her passport, stamp it, and then when she leaves, they take it back. And that's so that when she goes back to America, she doesn't have to say she went to Cuba and the border guards there have no idea. So I don't know if they still do that or whatnot, but that's, they did that for us too. Uh, Cubans don't stamp your passport if you ever go. So there you go. Um, we have to make some hard choices between medicine and heat and stuff. I don't know, man. I Seriously, I don't know how you're supposed to survive this game. It's brutal. We can't even afford our rent. We're going to be homeless soon. Human trafficking ring shut down. That's nice. We're literally about to be homeless, and our entire family is starving to death, but... We shut down a uh, human trafficking ring. Okay, I think this will be our last level. Uh, for as far as I want to go today, but uh, search all the collections before approving their entry. Okay, collection in extremists correlate pertinent entry. If I press space, it's supposed to do something. Oh, yeah, space puts me in uh, search mode, correlate discovery of weapons and contraband. Interesting. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, doing some full-body cavity searches on everyone who comes in. You can never be too careful. I say cavity searches for all. All right. Isabel Rodren. Um, Isabel, you are okay in my books. Oh, but you're a Kolechkin. How do I do a body search on you? Um... Booth info, space to inspect. Um, how do I body search? Um, oh, maybe I have to do it here. Um, you have to do, you have to do like a discrepancy. So, Kolechkia and, wait, what? How do I do that? Um, correlate the pertinent entry in the rule book. Okay. Where is this rule? Uh, all Kolechkins must be searched. There we go. Bend over and count to 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> Turn towards the scanner. All right, we chained it. Oh my god, all right, well. That is very revealing, I have to say. And, uh, there you go, memento. Oh, we, we can't give it to her? Okay, I guess I'll keep that one. All right, whatever. Approved. Don't start anything, please. I can't take any more penalties. My family's starving to death. And? Well, I wasn't punished for it. Nice. All right, O'Brien, or Oberstan, or whatever. Klaus Dietz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, did he just say a couple of weeks? Because that is not allowed. I'm getting better at this, guys. The length of your stay is different. I apologize. It's just for two days. See, now, what am I supposed to do in that scenario? Like, accept his word? I'm going to accept it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get punished for that. Invalid ID number. Oh, okay. I am transiting to elsewhere. Duration of stay, it will just be 14 days. Okay. Oh, looks legit. What the hell do I know? Oh, wait, did I, was I supposed to scan him? Yeah, I was. Uh-oh. All right. Search the Koscheckians, or whatever the hell their names are. Mm, this, she seems okay. Literally everyone has something wrong with their story and or, you know, whatever. So it's like, if you send someone through, yeah, without checking something. Invalid sex? Don't even know what was listed there. 
Yusuf Brernov staying one month visiting to PD whatever approved next punishment oh god what did I miss invalid issuing city just visiting duration of stay it will be one month well how about serving me that passport yo yeah, thanks. Now I can actually do my job. Uh, Republia, Michielaski, visits. I don't know what I'm missing on this one. See, this is where I think the game gets away from me. I, I love the idea of this game. It's cool. I think I'd rather watch someone else play. I know you guys are watching me, but as I'm playing, I'm like, I think I'd rather somebody else play because frankly, I'm just not good enough. Um, all right, Mr. Kolechka. Bend over and spread them cheeks. You've been selected for a random search. Ain't nothing random about it, chief. You're from a nationality we just don't trust. All right, oh my god, he really did strip naked. See, this is in the 80s when they, uh, they did not have, um see-through cameras um oops so they weren't able to take like x-ray pictures like this i'm betting these people literally stripped down into the nudies and that's how i'm uh this is so obvious slow down my friend detain you give i'll give you 10 credits to let me through oh my god i should have let him through i definitely should have let him through I didn't even let him finish. Didn't realize it was a thing. I need the money. Um, two days transiting elsewhere. No expiries. Shingleton. Is that even a real place? It is. Name's the same. Go on. Get out of here. You rascal. What pen what pen is Punishment am I going to get for her letting you through? Nothing. Oh. Finally. It's all, you know what's interesting? If there is a discrepancy, it almost makes it easier. When there's no discrepancies, it actually takes longer to, to sift through all this stuff. Because you're like double and triple checking everything. I think this one's actually okay as well. Oh, no, wait. She's Kalachkian or whatever. That means... Nudie photos. Um, Kalachkians must be searched. Oops. There you go. Random search. Please face the scanner. Mm -hmm. Oh man, these photos. I can't believe. It's so unflattering. Alright. <laughs> Save that one for later, I guess, too. I don't know. Just go home and like, I'm sorry, we can't afford rent, but I have all these photos of naked foreigners. Maybe that will make you feel better, son. It's the best I can do. Cold, sick, and hungry. And we're at negative $10. So literally, I can't afford a single thing. <laughs> but I upgraded my booth at some point. Um, anyway, I think this is as far as we will go. Um, oh, and luckily, I have been arrested. Your family will be sent back to their village. <laughs> you are under arrest until your debts are repaid. Am I supposed to do my job from a prison cell? Replacement inspector, inspector will be found easily. Glory to Arstatska. Just in time. We failed just in time. <laughs> 65 processed, 39 approved, 20 denied, 6 detained, 12 citations earned, 58 stamps, 1 of 20 endings. So yeah, you're sp this is one of those games you're supposed to play over and over and get better and better at, but as you can see, like, I don't know if I have the attention span for this, and so, like, it's not the kind- I played this, like, once or twice and never came back, even though I thought it was really cool. And I'm happy I came back and played it with you guys here today. I don't know when- or if I will ever play this again. But I think it's a pretty cool game. I think it's a pretty cool game. What do you guys think of Papers Please? Put your 
your capitalist pig com comments in the comments down below and they will be reviewed by the next available individual um not me though because i'm done looking at papers for a long time now guys i hope you had fun with today's video um if you did don't forget to like and blah 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 and other than that i'll catch you in the next one till next time my friends peace